Okay, dear children. Now let us start with a new chapter called depreciation. Okay, that is accounting for depreciation. So uh, let us see what is depreciation. Uh, see this depreciation uh, is by the way the decrease in the value of a fixed asset. Okay, because the value of an asset it decreases over the period of time, isn't it? So uh, for example, if you purchase a mobile phone. In the year uh, 2020 and you want to sell the mobile phone in the year 2022 okay this year you want to sell this and buy a new one so let us assume that you had purchased that particular mobile phone for uh, say 15,000 okay but now when you sell the mobile phone will you get the same price no you will not get the same price isn't it why you must have uh, thought for us some time right uh, why we don't get the same value because the mobile phone is the same isn't it you still have the cover that uh, charger and the usb cable uh, and other things whatever is provided in the mobile phone that box right but still uh, the price of the mobile phone which you will sell to the other person you won't be getting the full amount that mobile phone when you sell it will not real, uh, realize the original value or the cost value okay why it is so because during the usage of that mobile phone uh, it may get uh, damaged okay there may be some kind of a scratch okay and there may be some kind of uh, viruses are there in mobile phone okay uh, maybe the battery life it has been decreased because of the continuous uh, usage of the mobile phone okay so the phone will not be functioning like before okay or sometimes it can be like the phone can be outdated okay maybe the Android version, uh, it has been updated, or maybe the <clears throat> technology it has become obsolete over the period of time. Okay, so that's why depreciation is very very important. Okay, so you should uh, try to understand what is depreciation. Okay, and what are its uh, methods, techniques, features, importance. Okay, but remember. Uh, we have two types of assets in general okay that is called fixed assets uh, sorry uh, yeah the fixed assets only and uh, fixed assets we have two types of uh, fixed assets okay there are various types of assets that is called the fixed assets okay uh, current assets isn't it fictitious assets but we will not go into it let us just stick to the uh, fixed assets only fixed assets are of two types by the way one is called uh, tangible asset the other one is called intangible asset okay by tangible asset we mean those assets which we can physically see touch okay and it possesses some weight mass and it occupies space but intangible asset you cannot see and touch physically okay it has no mass weight and it doesn't occupy space it just exists in the books of accounts okay and both these be it tangible or intangible assets they decrease over a period of time and the decrease in the value of tangible fixed tangible asset is called depreciation and decrease in the value of fixed intangible assets is called amortization okay which is not in our syllabus okay so let us start with the discussion now <clears throat> you can have a look at this particular uh, picture this uh, depreciation it declines over a period of time okay and ultimately the asset it needs to be sold in the scrap value or the salvage value 
okay and remember it is a time concept by the way this depreciation is a time concept okay because when you uh, purchase any asset okay in this uh, in this image you can see there is a car but it can be mobile phone computer whatever bike scooter car okay so over a period of time it decreases when you continue to use this uh, asset it will obviously it will it will be reduced i mean the Mm, value of the asset it will be reduced over a period of time okay now what is the definition first let us try to understand that part now <clears throat> accounting standard 6 it deals with depreciation so you can have a look at this the depreciation uh, i mean the definition of depreciation is already provided according to as 6 okay so in normal language as i already said that depreciation is nothing but the uh, wearing out of the physical uh, uh, sorry uh, wearing out of the assets due to physical wear and tear okay just like uh, your uh, school dress okay nowadays the school is not going on but uh, you have uh, studied before in class 8 9 isn't it maybe in class 10 also you couldn't uh, study properly because of the lockdown but you must have noticed that when you purchase a uh, school dress it's very new in the beginning isn't it but as you continue to use that uh, item or product that is the school dress it will be old okay your uh, the sweater it will get torn okay shirt uh, it will be old okay and your shoes it will also be very very old isn't it so over a period of time because of this use, uh, usage continuous usage okay so that is called the physical wear and tear okay now let us uh, see what are depreciable assets now uh, depreciable assets again according to as6 depreciable assets are those assets which are expected to be used during more than one accounting period obviously when you purchase a mobile phone you will not use it for only one year when you buy a tv you will not use it for one particular year obviously you will gonna use it uh, for more than one year isn't it so this one accounting period i hope you already know this accounting period is of 12 months right so within which we need to complete the accounting cycle isn't it so uh, this the life expectancy or the usage expectancy should be more than one accounting period and that asset it has a limited useful life of course that particular asset it will have a limited useful life because uh, you cannot use whatever you have purchased okay whatever the uh, uh, commodity that you purchased today you cannot use it for the infinite period of time after a certain point of time the asset it will become obsolete okay the technology it will become outdated okay point number 3 which are held by an enterprise for use in the production or supply of goods and services yes so it will be only i mean the assets okay the assets are only used for the production or supply of goods that is only for the business purpose okay if uh, any uh, owner of a company is buying a, mo a mobile phone for the personal use then the depreciation of that personal mobile phone of the ceo or cfo okay or chairman of a company will never be accounted because that becomes uh, personal okay so uh, when we look at this depreciation okay when we are talking about depreciation so this uh, depreciation we are using and understanding this sense 
okay uh, only in the sense of business it is not for the daily life purpose however depreciation it is a real phenomenon and it does exist okay so even our daily life depreciation is important and it happens but we do not include in the uh, practical sense this depreciation as an accountant we will only try to understand and implement the formula and the technique okay and our understanding only and only for the purpose of enterprise that is the business house okay now what do you mean by useful life what is depreciable amount so you can go through this okay i will send you this uh, ppt okay now let me go to this part because this is uh, more important methods of depreciation okay so there are uh, varieties of methods say uh, double counting method okay sorry uh, double declining method this uh, machine hour rate method okay mhr and then uh, sinking fund method okay annuity method so many methods are there almost uh, at least 10 methods are there so far i know okay at least 10 methods are there okay in fact the uh, there is revaluation method also okay but uh, these two methods are very very famous straight line method and diminishing balance method even in the college level you will be seeing depreciation i mean the accounting for depreciation by using this method only straight line method and diminishing balance method okay now okay so this straight line method is also known as dim, uh, this diminishing balance method is also known as okay you just go through this okay now after that there comes the techniques of depreciation okay i mean the depreciation accounting i mean the technique so what are the method uh, sorry the techniques okay how you uh, do the accounting okay you, now you know the methods fine straight line method diminishing balance method understood but how to implement these techniques now how we will going to use it okay so there must be some kind of technique isn't it so these are the techniques number 1 normal method number 2 provision method number 3 asset disposal method okay let me just uh, tell you in brief however while doing the numerical questions i will tell you okay but still let us just uh, discuss in brief about this um, method uh, i mean the techniques number 1 normal method in normal method we uh, calculate depreciation okay and that de uh, depreciation we uh, include in the asset account we actually subtract the value of depreciation okay the value of depreciation from the asset value okay and thus the value of asset it uh, keeps on decreasing every year okay and <clears throat> in this uh, method this normal method we can prepare separate depreciation account if we wish to okay but the other method that is the provision method in this provision method what we do is we do not include depreciation in the asset account just like in case of normal method okay what we do is we accumulate uh, sorry we accumulate the depreciation uh, for example depreciation for 2020 was uh, 2000 2021 it was uh, again say uh, 2000 only okay and for 2022 again 2000 okay and let us assume that the cost of the machine was only 20000 so according to the normal method the value of asset i mean the machine it will reduce every year 
okay the cost was 20000 okay and the next year it will be 18000 next year it will be 16000 again next year it will be 14000 okay that is in case of normal method why because we are including we are subtracting the value of depreciation from the cost of machine every year okay and that is at the end of the year okay but according to the provision method we don't subtract the value of depreciation from the cost of machine that is every year the cost of machine will remain constant it will remain same 20000 first year second year 20000 third year also 20000 only but when we calculate the depreciation we uh, record these depreciation separately okay that is called provision for depreciation account that is why the name is only saying this uh, provision method okay provision for depreciation account there in that provision for depreciation account we accumulate the depreciation for first year second year and third year okay and if the company wants to dispose of that machine i mean uh, sell the machine okay uh, as second hand to the other per, uh, to the other company then at this point of time depreciation should be subtracted okay from the cost of the machine okay the accumulated depreciation should be subtracted from the cost of machine okay we will see when we do the numerical questions okay it will be more clearer to you because just by this explanation you won't be understanding much okay now this asset disposal method this uh, asset disposal method is just um, the uh, what do you say the advanced form of provision method okay so then uh, sorry uh, in this asset disposal method what we uh, prepare is we prepare uh, three accounts number one asset account okay furniture or plant and machinery or simply machine account or truck account or motor car whatever the asset you have okay number one and number two provision for depreciation account okay and number three asset disposal account okay so i will explain this asset disposal method along with the numerical okay let us not go into it in depth because without numerical question we will not be able to understand at once okay so now what are the features of depreciation this depreciation uh, it is a decrease in the book value of fixed assets yes it is true it shows the decrease in the i mean the uh, re this uh, reduction in the value of fixed assets okay number two depreciation involves loss of value of assets due to the passage of time and uh, obsolescence that is uh, as i already said that because of the time gap there may be i mean the technology that is used to make the machine it may become obsolete okay so because of that passage uh, this uh, passage of time the depreciation will occur for example you want to purchase a mobile phone which was uh, made in the year 2020 uh, sorry uh, 2000 will you purchase that mobile phone no you will not purchase that mobile phone uh, why because it is 20 years old now the technology has advanced so much that we are looking for the new generation mobile phone okay previously it was uh, uh, 2g mobile phone okay then uh, so far i know uh, previously there was wcdma mobile phone okay then uh, uh, some kind of uh, technology they used to use okay there was no android before and there was no concept of a touch screen mobile phone okay but uh, slowly and gradually we saw there was the advancement in the field of technology nowadays we have a mobile phone without any button on it so if we see a mobile phone with buttons uh, we will think are it's so old hmm? Isn't it but still the people okay uh, who are from the uh, this i mean the working class sector okay they they use uh, they still use this um, button type mobile phone okay however the technology they are improvising every year 
in that type of mobile phone also but uh, this uh, screen touch mobile phone is now famous okay and uh, even the version of android is also now being updated every year previously we used to use uh, this uh, windows 98 2000 vista okay xp but now we have windows 10 and windows 11 isn't it so the technology is improving it is advancing every year so this because of the passage of time your machine it will become obsolete okay it will become outdated number three depreciation is an ongoing process yes it uh, it is <clears throat> a continuous process remember it is a continuous process until the end of life of the assets so depreciation is a fact and remember number four depreciation is a time concept okay this point number four it is uh, yeah this point number four it is my own uh, what do you say my own uh, thing that, that i have included out here okay well uh, okay i will tell you about this depreciation at the end okay anyway so uh, yeah these are the features okay now the causes of depreciation previously you saw in this uh, this uh, picture that the value of the asset it was declining isn't it but why it is declining there, mu there must be some kind of you know causes so what are the causes of depreciation the causes of the depreciation are number one wear and tear due to the use or passage of time yes if you continue to uh, use any kind of uh, device let's say mobile phone because nowadays you are uh, using mobile phone a lot much isn't it for educational purpose most of the time okay and for some kind of recreational activities also okay and maybe to search in the google sometimes okay so you are using mobile phone every day so if you continue to use that mobile phone obviously because of the physical wear and tear the value of the asset it will decrease okay there may be some kind of scratches out there okay so that's why we uh, have this kind of uh, cabinet i mean the case mobile mobile case then the um, tempered glass okay just to protect the mobile phone but we uh, change that uh, case and the tempered glass time to time isn't it okay and because of the passage of time also uh, if you just uh, purchase a mobile phone and just keep it for five years and after five years when you open the box and you want to use it yes it will be in the use but the technology it will become outdated so you will not be getting the same amount of price of that mobile phone which you purchased five years before okay number two expiration of legal rights so um, there may be some kind of uh, agreement okay so after the uh, agreement period is over or some kind of uh, government directives we have to include the depreciation just like in case of uh, bs4 and bs6 uh, vehicles now the government uh, has said that um, you know last year only yes last year only during the time of uh, coronavirus maybe in the year 2020 i don't remember exactly but government said that all the automobile sectors are not allowed to sell their bs4 model now we only can uh, buy bs6 mobile uh, i mean the vehicles be it uh, car bike or scooter isn't it if you go to any showroom you will not find any bs4 vehicle if you are getting in a low price then you buy it but in your own risk okay so because of the some kind of uh, legal right also depreciation it occurs okay now obsolescence 
Now this obsolescence is actually the out of date, you know, outdated or expired because uh, after a certain period of time, you will get a better version of that machine, okay? Better form of the plant and machinery. So after a certain period of time, that machine or an asset, it becomes outdated. So because of the obsolescence also, the depreciation occurs. And number four, abnormal factors. Uh, the abnormal factors can include your uh, fire, earthquake, okay, landslide, and some kind of uh, the uh, accidental losses. So because of that also, depreciation occurs. Let me just give you one single uh, this. Um, no, that will not, not, not be a good example. Mm, okay, yeah, that is the best example. Yes. Let us assume that you are using a mobile phone, okay? And it just fell from your hand, okay? So it just fell off. And it did directly went into the pool of water, okay? Now what will happen? You know very well. If water goes inside a mobile phone, that uh, device, it will be damaged. Now you, you need to repair this, isn't it? But still, even after repairing the mobile phone, it won't be uh, performing uh, well, isn't it? So, because of some kind of uh, abnormal uh, factors also, depreciation occurs and the value of the asset it will decrease okay and there are other numerous uh, examples also let us not go into it this uh, importance of depreciation you just can go through okay i will send you this uh, pdf i will just uh, stick to this uh, formula yeah <clears throat> now straight line method formula of straight line method is this depreciation equals to cost of asset minus scrap value of asset or the salvage value Okay, scrap value or salvage value of asset divided by estimated life of an asset. Okay, or the time period. Sometimes in question, uh, scrap value may not be given. So at this point of time, we have to assume that scrap value was zero. Okay, and this uh, rate of depreciation formula is depreciation by cost of asset into 100. Sometimes we have to calculate this rate of depreciation also. Okay, so this is your formula according to the straight line method. Okay, just remember this formula. Cost of asset minus scrap value or salvage value divided by estimated life of an asset. And rate of depreciation, depreciation by cost of asset into 100. And the answer you will get in terms of percentage. Diminishing balance method. This uh, diminishing balance method, it has uh, uh, the uh, actual uh, formula, by the way, but uh, that formula is something, it's very dangerous. So I didn't show you that formula, okay, because it's quite complicated. So I'm just showing you a very simple formula that is depreciation equals to CBV into DR, where CBV uh, stands for current book value and DR for depreciation rate. But while uh, solving the numerical questions, we will not use this formula for diminishing balance method. We will use only this formula for straight line method. Okay, in case of straight line method, we use this formula. But in case of diminishing balance method, we will not use the formula. So then what we will do? I will teach you when we do the numerical questions, how to get the answer because if we use the formula it will be too much hectic because every year you have to calculate the depreciation but in case of the straight line method the depreciation it will remain constant every year the depreciation will remain constant okay this is the only difference between the straight line method and the diminishing balance method as the name is only saying straight line method straight line okay so every year 
the depreciation will remain constant it will remain same okay so if you uh, draw a graph of the straight line method that uh, you know it will be a vertical line uh, sorry uh, uh, this horizontal line okay it will be in a straight line so that is the straight line method that is every year the depreciation i mean the value of depreciation it will remain constant as it is but according to the diminishing balance method every year the value of depreciation it decreases let us say in the year 2020 it was 2000 but in the year 2021 it will become 1800 okay now in the next year it will be uh, let us say 1 uh, 1671 okay 1671 rupees so every year it keeps on decreasing so there is a difference between diminishing balance method and the straight line method which we will see in the numerical questions okay so yes uh, depreciation <clears throat> so is depreciation a source of fund uh, if you ask me personally my answer can be both yes and no but uh, it should be noted that depreciation is never a secret source of fund depreciation can never be the secret source of fund yeah however there are some uh, loopholes out here okay which i wanted to uh, show in the year 2015 but the research proposal it got rejected and uh, i came up with some kind of formula also that's why i said no this uh, concept this time concept so this is my own thing okay it is out of my brain okay what i thought about depreciation is a time concept i can show you if you wish to know this part i have no problem because the research is already uh, rejected so no need to keep that secret anymore anyway why depreciation uh, is a secret source of fund why so now this uh, you know there are two schools okay there are two thoughts of uh, schools in the field of accounting uh, one school it says that yes depreciation is a secret source of fund okay one group it says but the other group they say that depreciation is not a secret source of fund okay this uh, i mean the controversy is still going on okay so this depreciation is a very very uh, controversial topic by the way okay so if you want to do uh, some kind of research on on this particular area in future i request you to read a book by uh, professor henry rand hatfield uh, who was an american accountant i mean the professor of account uh, this accounting and uh, his book um, modern accounting principles and its pr uh, problems okay modern accounting its principles and problems so that book if you can find uh, it will be very nice okay it will guide you because professor henry rand hatfield he has done the postmortem of all the methods in fact this method straight line and the diminishing balance method he has done the postmortem of these uh, formulas he has explained very uh, nicely anyway so <clears throat> why there is a controversy uh, in the field of depreciation why the people they are saying that uh, depreciation can be a secret source of fund first of all depreciation is a phantom expenditure yes depreciation is a phantom expenditure why because uh, it only exists in the books of accounts and actually cash doesn't go out because depreciation is a non cash expenditure however it uh, it is a charge against profit okay the profit i mean the value of the profit it will be reduced but in fact the amount of cash it doesn't get decreased okay actually the cash doesn't decrease when you record this depreciation in the debit side of pl account okay number 1 
नंबर टू दिस डिप्रिशिएशन इज एक्चुअली वेन वी कैलकुलेट द डिप्रिशिएशन वी एक्चुअली डिवाइड द कॉस्ट ऑफ द मशीन ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम ओके द कॉस्ट ऑफ द मशीन इट इट इज स्प्रेडेड ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम ओके एंड बाय क्रिएटिंग दिस डिप्रिशिएशन we can replace that machine okay so during this uh, operational activity okay or during this uh, process of production some part of machine is also used okay so it is uh, included in this uh, production uh, uh, sector but what about the replacement cost so these two things are there which is quite uh, disturbing in the field of depreciation okay however it should be noted that depreciation is never a secret source of funds why as i already said that the amount of cash it doesn't get decreased isn't it but depreciation is a phantom expenditure it only exists in the books of accounts okay it is a non cash expenditure but the cash is remaining same so obviously it could be a source of fund but this is not the end of the story because in class 12 there is a chapter called cash flow statement okay so this error okay this type of error because the um, because this depreciation is a charge against profit so profit is reduced which means the cash should also get you know uh, this uh, cash should also get reduced isn't it but the cash is not in you know it is not getting reduced so that uh, error will be rectified when we do that chapter called cash flow statement okay so the ultimate uh, conclusion of this depreciation is that depreciation is not a secret source of fund but however depreciation is a very very uh, interesting expenditure because it is a non cash expenditure okay and sometimes depreciation can also act as a replacement cost so depreciation ultimately again i want to repeat that it is never a secret source of fund okay depreciation can never be the source of fund for the enterprise okay so please go through theory from the book and uh, if there is any kind of confusion okay if there is any kind of uh, thing which you want to ask you are free to ask question any time